All right, hey guys. Well, here's the uh, build on the uh, shampoo bottle in space, better known as the interplanetary UFO. Uh, these are the hangar bay doors with some of the decals on them. Decals are really neat and have a nice three-dimensional look to them. A decal. There's the hangar bay with the decals in it. I dusted that with silver paint so that uh, everything wouldn't be just a stark greenish white glow in the dark color. Then we started working on the scout ship. We're showing it glowing in the dark. And we did just a little bit of, again just a little detail painting on it, a little highlighting to bring out some of the some of the details on it. And we got the decals on the uh, pirate space pirate flags and the uh, cockpit windows decals are installed on it. And it's all ready to go. We started working on the fuselage here. Here's a test fitting. The one thing I did do, I wanted to get more light up into the conning tower. So I cut, cut out underneath of it so there was light could get in. Because we're going to be putting lights inside the body of this kit. So it can be lit from the inside to activate the glow in the dark end as well as absorb some light from the outside. But it won't get much from the outside because we're going to paint it. But then on top of that, we also got to put a glow in the dark layer. So hope, my hope is that the internal lighting will help, help it glow longer and better when you turn the lights out. And we're getting ready to put the paint on it here and we used the uh, just a straight white paint and I mounted it I mounted it with a polar lights large base so that's the mounting lug there with the wires coming out of it and here's the lighting test before we get ready to paint it I just used the LED strip in there so that it'll light up from the inside out as well as Hopefully when we're done glowing from the outside. We've got a couple more shots of that. Then we've got the uh, the white base paint laid on. So we're going to put the Aztecing on. Before, and then decals, and then finally go back and uh, put another coat of clear glow in the dark paint on top of it. This ship was designed by Matt Jeffries uh, and rumored to be have been planned for use in the Star Trek original series, but it never was. Uh, and it's kicked around for almost 50 years as a model. And I built it as a kid, and I thought I'd pick one up and try my hand at it again as an adult. So here it is, the interplanetary UFO. Our shampoo bottle in space. Guys, it's an update on the uh, interplanetary UFO slash Lake Lake Erickson slash shampoo bottle in space. Um, been playing with this in the background for oh, a couple months, off and on. Um, this is a glow in the dark kit. Uh, what I actually did was. See on the on the little scout ship. It's I got it set up. It's glowing. Um, for the main ship, I actually uh, I painted it, dust coated it with white, so that it looks kind of normal right now. But uh, we can light it up. And which actually will charge the plastic on from the inside. And I just got it hooked up to an old battery, so it's not a real solid connection right now. Um, and when we finish doing all the painting on it, I've got some uh, Martha Stewart glow in the dark paint that we're going to coat the outside with. But before I do that, I got some, uh, I don't know how well these will show up here because I haven't started messing with them yet. 
We have some. Hey, look, Bob, it's a yellow card. Uh, peel one out here. I have uh, Aztec. It's a generic Aztec set from uh, Aztec Dummy. Peeled out. So, uh, yeah, it's tough. There we go. That shows up a little bit. We'll use that to do a, an ass teching on the entire ship in light gray. And then after uh, that, we'll put the decals on. We can model it as the Yuri, Gagar Yuri Gagarin, the United States space ship, or the uh, the Ghost pirate ship, which is what we're going to do is the pirate ship. Um, and it comes with some battle damage decals. And you've got basically it's two sets of one of the decals you've got. A fresh set if you want to do a med ship or what we're doing with the uh, captured repurposed ship. The uh, Most of the original lettering is, is worn off. And we've got all the windows down here to go on. I don't know what else we got in the decal seat. We have Some of the backhead decals, details that go on it. So all those will go on, and then we'll uh, hit it with that glow in the dark coating again, so that it will, in fact, still glow in the dark. But it'll be kind of neat once it's because it'll have the eerie kind of glow from the inside when the power's on. And then it'll have the glow in the dark ability when the power is off. Or the room is dark. Um, we've got the uh, hangar bay is all done in decals, which is a, a really nice. This has got a really, really nice decal set for it. You can see the. Uh, Engine areas kind of light up there, and then uh, I put the polar lights mount on the bottom, and then took some of the leftover greebly parts, like the landing gear for the scout ship, and some other parts in the kit that aren't used, and kind of put some detail on the bottom, just so it's not completely flat and void down there. So this was just the point of me sitting down and start uh, doing the Aztecing, which I guess I just got to be in the mood for. Let's fire up the airbrush and sit down and do the Aztec on it, which probably happen the next time I have a have a day off or get home from work and have the energy to do it. So that's where we're at on the shampoo bottle in space. And we'll have uh, some other stuff coming up soon. So have a good night.